Hey guys, so I'm gonna try and do a one and done video shoot So I'm gonna try not edit and show you a garage sale haul. I've been really busy with work So I have been doing a couple videos, but the editing part just always gets me finding the time to do that um, so I'm gonna just Run through it. I'm gonna upload it right onto YouTube so you guys can uh, see my haul cuz it is epic it was a good garage sale day. There were some things that I have been wanting and I found them at the garage sale and I know, I didn't think that I would find it uh, at the garage sale. The big thing that I'm gonna show you and why I'm outside is um, I've been wanting to get my husband a um, barbecue grill, like um, a smoker and they're so expensive. And the one that I wanted, you know, I wanted digital, like a, a Bradley or a Brickman or something and um, I did I found one so I wanted to show you and it is a killer deal and the guy was amazing that I got it from and I was the first one at the sale and he had it plugged in I could see all of the display it works perfectly he was like even soaking the stuff so a lot of the stainless stuff is like in perfect condition um, but I'm gonna show you what I got so it's a Bradley smoker I've got it in here because it is my husband's Father's Day present and I even told him that I really wanted to get him a smoker for Father's Day but the ones that we wanted these ones with the digital display are over $300 um, and this one is one from Cabela's and you can see the guy also has all of these there they smoke with these little pellets and you load the pellets in the top of this tube and then it auto feeds it so it's like you don't have to do anything it tells you the temperature everything 75 bucks isn't that amazing because these are probably like over 20 bucks a piece and then i got oak hickory uh whiskey oak um this one's cherry and maple and they all have some in there um they're all at least half full some of them are full so that is that, and excuse my car, I have been working so much and I work and basically live out of this car when I'm traveling. So I'm gonna take you now into the house. Hey, Sunny. Hi, and I really tried to lay stuff out and separate it. Sorry if you're getting blinded. Um, so you could see, excuse my house is a mess. I've just got over dealing with it or worrying about it because if I worry about it, I don't do any videos, so. Let's start with the one thing I got for outside. And then I can show you what my outside looks like right now. The hummingbirds are around, so maybe maybe we'll see them when we're out here. I got this, um, it's very heavy, like welded metal, a plant stand. And I already had this burlap sack. I paid $5 for it at, uh, the garden store by me and I'm gonna so I'm gonna get some plants and plant that out I think that'll look nice this is solar it's so cool and it's um, glass my husband knocked it over though and it was it didn't break on the concrete so that's a win there's sunny so the only thing that I got uh, for outside and I paid um, two dollars for it, it and it's metal and she, it still has the price tag of $15.95. And I actually bought a bunch of stuff from this lady. You'll see some of the things that I got. And so it was a deal. Uh, everything was a huge deal. So um, what do you want to start with? The stuff on the counter or the clothes? Um, I'm going to go through the clothes really quick. So we'll start with that. I'm going to try and tell you prices, but this is a leather jacket by Avante New York and it is got no stains on it and I paid 10 bucks for it and it fits me really nice and I'm going to wear that on uh, 4th of July and um, for my vet, I'm in a vet veterans organization at work. I'm part of a ERG, an employee resource group. It's called VetNet and um, we put on big veterans events and stuff and celebrate our veterans because I am a veteran. That was $3. And I just think that's gorgeous. I think I'm going to put it like right here. Ugh. What do you think? Would it look good there? Right by the door? 
I, I'm really having a great relationship with my hummingbirds. There's Luna. Hi, Luna. Luna now has been fixed, and she is pretty much an outdoor cat. I knew she would be. She's a major hunter. She's already brought two bunnies, two baby bunnies, a shrew, and a bird into the house. Did not kill them, set them free. So that was fun. Here, I got this for Caitlin. She has another bag that uh, I got at a different garage sale. It's got bright colors on it. Um, I think she's going to love this one. She loves this, the, how it hangs over your body, the crossbody like that. But it's got the little wooden buttons. And she is really into elephants. Um, there was a thing at her school, and it was like ele elephants, uh, you know, how they take care of each other, and they don't leave anybody behind, and they're strong and loyal. And she just really liked the message. So I paid... I think five bucks for that. But again, I got some deals. Um, I, that's what I usually do. I make a pile and then we talk about it at the end. Um, this, I thought it was a suit. It, it was together. But now I'm noticing, I mean, I guess it could go together because there is some purple. But I'm thinking this might be different. This is a large by Free Country. And this is called Trim Shaper. And it's a extra large, so that the size wise will fit because you know I'm much bigger on top than on the bottom, and so I think that'll work. I paid uh, five bucks for that. The deal that I put, uh, I got a really good garage sale, and this was from the same place that I got. And this is an authentic Coach purse, and it's the backpack. It's like in brand new condition. There's no stains. She kept it in the bag. Um, I paid 40 bucks. And I know that that bag is um, over, you know, I think it's over 200 bucks to get it. Maybe more. And there's, you know, the number. So uh, that was, that and the smoker were my two, like, best deals of the day. So... I was really happy about that. I got these shoes for Marcus. This is what size he is right now. They were two bucks. They're in good condition. Um, you know, boys, he's at the track all the time and um, he just goes through shoes. And this is a Nike, um, you know, just a nice t-shirt. And then here's another t-shirt for Marcus. And it's got the, sorry people. I folded stuff. It's got the Dr. Seuss on the front. I just thought that was cute. I paid 50 cents each for those. Um, these books, I paid a dollar a piece, and they seriously are, are like brand new. I, they haven't even b broken the, um, the binding. It's like they didn't even open them. Um, and Marcus loves these, and I don't think he has these years, uh, but this is 2010, which was a decade one, and then 2012 uh, which is just the newest one that they had very cool so a buck a piece that was awesome I got this for Jax it's a cars backpack with Lightning McQueen on it it's like brand new I mean, it's really nice um, and it's got a, um, a little uh, what do you call it? Sleeping bag inside. So I paid a buck for that. Uh, here's Caitlin's pile real quick. This is just a top that we had actually seen at, um, I forget which store, but we'd liked it. And the colors, they must have, I'm going to try and wash it and see if the colors will come back. It doesn't really go with the bottom as much as I thought it did when it was in the light. Uh, but she's got a she's got a black bottom that will work with those. And then I just thought this was so cute, these bottoms, with the ruching there. And I paid three bucks for these three pieces, so this neon top, I paid three bucks for that. And these are what I got for Caitlin. And then this one is just a cute little um, short t-shirt, and it says, has the Lost Boys on it, and it says, I love the Lost Boys, but look at the back. The back's like really cute. Sorry, it's got fuzz on it. See, it's wide open, so you could wear that over um, a swimsuit 
and then this shirt which is rainbow and um, with Marilyn Monroe on it and then this one has Aubrey Hepburn and it, they're just like little flowy shirts that you can wear over a swimsuit or something this is from American Eagle and it's a sweater it's got the really long sleeves you wear it over again over something um, and then it's got lace oh it's an Abercrombie and Finch and then the last thing for Caitlin is just this t-shirt here that says surf music life and I seriously paid um, you know fi between 50 cents and a dollar fifty for each piece um, in this and for Caitlin and then um, I think I paid a buck a piece for all the rest of these clothes I got these are pajamas is tank top and capri pants and the nice thing is I'm going to try all these on and what is too big for me will fit Caitlin so right now we're at a point where she's like you know a size or two behind me her body shapes different than mine but um, we can kind of share which is which is great for her because I have a big closet um, but not so much for me because all these got hair all over them but I got these I'm hoping they'll fit me they'd be cute for the 4th of July for either me or Caitlin uh, this is a flowy polka dot shirt it's an XL um, I thought it might be cute with the red um, shorts and I like that it has this uh, on the sleeves uh, this is from Dress Barn. It's just a little sweater. This is a cute like t-shirt material, but it's got this design on the bottom. I don't know. I got to try it on. It, it might be too young for me, um, but I think it'd be really cute with some black boots and some tights. It will just have to see how it fits, but I think that is pretty. And then this again, um, I think it might be a little too young for me. And you want it really flowy. I'm going to just try it on. This is a shrug along like um, past your butt shrug. Uh, sweatshirt by um, Billabong. This is a really nice sweater. Luxaton, which is, um, oh my gosh, cashmere. <laughs> think um, but this really super soft and it would be nice around the holidays it is a large um, so I'll just have to see how it fits and then I got these pants these are all capris these a white pair and then a blue pair and those again were a buck a piece and then right here is um, some tights but I use them like shapewear it's just one of the shapewear tights and the last, I think, of the clothing stuff, yeah, these shoes, they're both Dansko. You can see that. Yeah. And they are just slip-ons. These ones look like they've hardly ever been worn, the red ones. I paid five bucks each, and I know that they're like over a hundred bucks each, but they both are in great. These ones, I can tell, have been worn more, but like these, hard, I, don't, I don't even know if they have been worn more than once. I got these for um, CJ alphabet and colors and shapes. And then this um, it, I thought was really cool. It's got Dinah Shore and Sydney Bechet. Bechet? Yeah. Um, it's, it's an old, it's got like violin and ballads. Um, and it's an old record type. Um, but there's two records in here. It is missing one. And the guy that sold me the the um, smoker, he saw it and he's like, oh, this is from right after the war. So I don't know if there's a date or anything. Let's see. Printed in USA. Uh, maybe 42. That's around the time that he was saying that he thought it was. So I paid a buck for that. I paid a buck for this. It's called The Mitten. I remember this book when I was a kid and it, it was really cool. And I love p getting Christmas books because um, I set them out uh, for Christmas. And this one, The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, it was like brand new. 
And then this Outdoor Living by William and Sonoma. I love these books. And I always find uh, recipes that I know I will use. And the pictures are so amazing. Um, you know, doesn't that look good? I wish I wasn't. I've found out uh, in the last year that I'm allergic to pineapple and bananas. Can you even believe it? Um, and I'm seriously having issues. I'm also allergic to crab. And when I do say, oh, it won't hurt me, I'll eat it once, I'm I'm hurting for like a week. So um, i got to be really careful. It's not gluten, though. It's just, it's um, I, gluten I'm sensitive to, but I'm starting to figure out the allergy thing. Uh, it's just hard sometimes, you know, and it's hard to continue eating that way. This is from Starbucks. It's like brand new. I paid a buck for that. Uh, it's all like clean inside and... I love the colors. Uh, this, isn't that cute? I think, uh, I think that'll be fun. It, it was a dollar. And then I have some amazing finds on the jewelry side. So I will have to edit this because my battery died. So um, I think I had started on the jewelry. Uh, the place I got the smoker, this guy had these pieces out. And he said they were his grandma's and his great-grandmother's. And he was give, doing them buy one, get one free. So um, I'll show you. Uh, and then there was another place where I just got this costume jewelry. These are probably from the 30s and 40s, maybe the 50s. But you can see some amazing detail on them that I just love. And I enjoy co costume jewelry. This uh, was $2. If you look at the, like, the latch, I mean, it's heavy. And um, it is just beautiful. And look at the the beads. They're like very natural looking and have some great coloring. Uh, this one was uh, $3. Uh, and he said he thought this was from, you know, Art Deco from the 40s. And it definitely is. It's amazing. Look at the detail. And look at the back, you can really see on the back of this piece. Yeah, very, very Art Deco. I don't even want to look up and try and find the values of these because I love them so much. And I, if I knew how much they were valued at, I might want to sell them and I don't want to do that. <laughs> but look at these, they're little um, shells. They look like little shells. And the coloring is amazing. And again, it has the old, old clasp. And then this one is my favorite. This one was five bucks. So I was like, I don't, I don't care. Um, so they were buy one, get one free. And I think he gave me, you know, one of these ones. So two of these were free. So I paid $7 for all four of them. But this is so exquisite. Look at the... Don't mind my nails. I'm getting them done here in a couple hours. They're, they're really grown out. Um, but look at the latch on this. It's heavy. It looks like that. And then this um, has a little scoop on it and it latches. So it looks like that on the back of the neck, which is nice. And then it's just layered with all these beautiful beads and all these different colors. Oh, I just, I love it. It's gorgeous. Uh, this is a really nice hat and it's a scalia, which I know is an expensive, uh, um, grass hat and you can tell it's never been worn I paid a buck for it but uh, it's it'll be nice this we're going to the beach here in a week so I wanted a nice um, hat for the beach and that's perfect um, this whole set was 75 cents so look at these beads aren't they cool they're like paper mache or something, but they look very Asian inspired. Same with the bracelet. Just the coloring and the detail on it. It's gorgeous. And then I don't know if I'm going to wear these earrings. Um, they're the kind that just, there's the stud ones. And I have a, I have sense, I'm sensitive to certain metals. I'll try them, but they're beautiful. I love, I love the whole set. I think it's gorgeous. And the clasp looks like that. And I paid 75 cents for that. 
And I paid 75 cents for this. This is another really good deal. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love, she had two nice, um, the croc or the, what do you call these? I don't know. I'm losing my brain. Uh, and the, with the lids and she only wanted 20 bucks a piece for them and it was this style. I'm st I still can't believe I didn't get them, but I just don't have any space. Seriously, look up in here. I use the Pampered Chef stuff, and so I don't have any place to put those. I Something's missing up there. Um, I'm at capacity on kitchen stuff, so I let it go. But I couldn't let this go for 75 cents. I love this, and I do have a red one. Oh, it has a crack on it. Bugger. That's a bummer. So, you know what? Now I know why it was 75 cents. Um, I could probably use this to plant something or put it outside. I like the coloring. I got this little wicker basket for um, a buck. And then this was also a buck. And I know these are expensive because I wanted to get this exact one for my mother-in-law uh, and to give in like a little tea basket. It's brand new. For a buck, I think they're like 15 to 19 dollars or something. Um, this is a shoe rack that we're going camping in the motorhome here coming up next week, and this will be nice on the back door in the bathroom. And it has these little hooks. I'm hoping that it'll work. I think that that'll work on the door that we have in there because it's thin. If not, I'll find a place for it. So that is my garage sale haul. It was an awesome day. I did spend a lot more money than normal. I spent like 150 bucks, I think. But this was 40 um, and the smoker was um, 100 or 75. So I think I got some really amazing deals. I hope that you're all having a great uh, summer and I will talk to you soon. Bye.